Welcome back to Ita Race. This is week 134, day two. Defense results, we got a failure, but uh, we defeated three foes. So is it really a failure? All right, um, let's do this and then we'll do this. And this, and this, and this. All right. Uh, we have a Luis, a bridal Luis, plus 10, plus 10. With the bouquet ball refund for speed, reposition Luna Fury, desperation, attack smoke, and attack speed solo. Altina, uh, reposition, vantage, IO shield. Oh, what? Okay, so a share chosen already gives her IO shield. So there really is no need for us, uh, Altina to ever run IO shield as long as she's run a share chosen. So I'm not sure why they gave her a Yoshio. Plus the Regan with reposition and double Swiss Sparrow. Plumeria with Iceberg and Guidance. Naga plus three. Um, reposition Soul Bracing Stand three. I mean Bracing Stands two. And Fallen Male Morgan with Drawback, Noontime, and Mirror Strike. So I think this is the first Fallen Male Morgan that we have seen. Alright. So already you can tell that they made a mistake. Because we already know how this team works. So yeah, this is always going to happen. If you put someone right there. And yeah, taking a bonfire from Tiny Tana is... Yeah, uh, it's not happening. From here, Morgan is able to take down Tana. Thanks to debuffs on her. And same thing with Seros. Thanks to Divos, he's able to take her down. By any means. I really want to give her this encounter, but I really don't have any this encounter. Unfortunately, Lara Shell is being is being held down by the uh, tactics room. But yeah, and Altina with IO Shield Seal is not going to survive a Tresil. You need the flag magic. Alright. So she goes that, takes out Altina, and then takes out Regan. Not good enough. And we're still being locked down by Tactics Room. So here, male Morgan takes down female Morgan, thanks to Ball Tower. Got saved by Miracle. And I think we'd have been able to survive two hits from her had it not been for the ball tower. So. Finally, we're outside of the tactics room range. Unfortunately, we were not able to kill Morgan because we missed the kill by one point. And from here is pretty much clean up. Although it does look like they're going to attempt to get they were gonna try to attempt to get the pots, but any punishment you see fit. Yeah, from here on, Larsha is pretty much pinning them down. Yeah. 
And that's pretty much it. All right, so hopefully today goes better than yesterday. Yesterday, we, I do have more time now uh, than I did yesterday for that first battle, so I can think a little more. All right, we have a save. Ah, uh, okay, this is an interesting setup. Double Brabo archers with a uh, near save and possibly far save on Edelgar. But Seros, just plus one with reposition. Ninja Lin, plus 10, plus five with attack speed solo. Peony, uh, well, duo Peony. Uh, Glimmer, flower formation. Raphael with double death blow, ball fighter, smite Ignis, and a plus 10. Also a plus 10 fame, plus 10 plus 9 with also death blow, but this one has death blow 4 and attack defense solo. Plus 10 plus 4, Edelgar with far save, and the near save, Gustav. Yep, this is disgusting. Brabo Archers, this is really. This is going to be painful. And then there's the Lin, which really is kind of a problem to deal with. How would I go against them like this? Due to Gustav's near save, is this, what is it? Only these two units can be attacked physically. And only Cyrus can be attacked by um, uh, range units. And then there's, of course, Peony will jump over here because she has aerobatics. No, flyer formation. So she doesn't actually jump over here. So there is no auto initiation. Plus si minus seven, minus seven. Hmm. Fallen Edelgar over here just doesn't do it. Like, I could put her over here. And Raphael will not be able to attack her. But... I think I have to use Fallen Edelgar. I don't really have anything that can really take hits from things like this. Especially because of the double save skills. Like, Sotis, I don't think she can do it. Now with the death blows. And I cannot, like the problem is I can't initiate just because of the far save on Edelgar. So I kind of have to tank with Fallen Edelgar. I don't really have a choice. Like this team can't do anything because of uh, far save. In no way Lilina is going to be able to take a plus 10 Edelgar in one hit. Especially because she won't be able to hit her with her uh, AoE special right off the bat. So yeah, I don't really have another choice. I have to go with Fallen Edelgar on this. I can't even go with this team either because... Uh, near save means that team is more for initiating and I really can initiate. The good thing is if I just stand from here Seros will not do anything. I guess Seros will not do anything in the first match. With utter certainty. But yeah, this is pretty disgusting. my trust close your eyes yeah is something afoot over here away we go is something afoot all right so out of my way 
Now the thing is, do I destroy this or not? There's no armor merge, so Gustav will not be able to reach me. What? I do want to at least get rid of this, and I can get rid of the Dark Shine, no problem. Out of my way. Which should help with my defenses. Let us proceed. Mm-hmm. Wish I could debuff you, but due to the way that flame is positioned, I don't really have a way to debuff you. Because I would need flame. Yes. Flame needs to go where Edgar is right now. For peace. So let's get rid of this first. Then I guess I could stop over here and then move over here. Just to be out of the way. Let's do that. Out of my way. That's fine. Consider it done. It's I'll, actually I'll do it. Of course. Turn two, so as long as lose. I get away from this thing. Well I guess it's only a ten. All right, yes. so go here, Close your eyes. dance you, what? move you right here, With you can go over here, you can foot. go over here. Let us proceed. Mm, I wish I could have put Emmer, well Away I don't we actually go. need the rest from Emmer, Shall we? so. Over here? Yeah, I won't lose. For peace. All right, let's see what happens. I mean, crumble to ash. There goes Faye. Raphael does a lot of damage. Well, does some damage, what I meant to say. Face your mortality. Ninja Lin. Alright, so we don't want to kill everybody. That's still a thing we want to avoid. So if we go over here, we can beat up, we'll hit up Peony, but I need to go over here to deal with the Ether. So there's no armor march, but Edelgard will move. So as long as I stay outside of Seiru's range, I guess I should be fine. Out of my way. Then I could just maneuver my way into Seiru's. Yes, of course. Um, one, two, three. So I guess you stepping on this trust. trap is fine. It doesn't hit at a guard, so consider it done. That should force Sarah's to move this way. Let us proceed. Over here. Meanwhile, we'll take care of all of you. I don't get any speed, so I think Edgar doubles me. Oh, she doesn't. Face your mortality. All right, and I'm pretty sure she goes down. Crumble to ash. Cool. Out of my way. 
Right. I won't lose. With utter certainty, you have my trust. So still need to get that ether. What? Shall we? Consider it done. Yeah. All right. Um. Over here. If we do this, we'll only hurt um, you, and then we can uh, dance out it. of the way. There's no healing I tower. Perfect. Close your eyes. Yeah. It's something afoot. All right, and then here we just get the ether. With utter certainty. Ether one. Ether two. So long, Seros. Uh, we got everything else, right? Away we go. Yep, we got everything else. Over here. Let us proceed. Oh, I'll do it. Shall we? Why not? We'll give it to Emery since she just hasn't had Peace. any chance to show up lately. Yeah, now, without a bonus unit fallen Edelgard, there is no way we can take on a team like this. Brave Bow Archers with Bowfighter and Double Death Blows, plus save skills. Like, this is the only thing that was not plus 10, so... No thank you. All right, so that's that. Hopefully we don't fight stuff like that, just so we can use different teams. We don't have to rely on just Edelgar killing everything, you know? It's not fun that way. All right, so Amethyst taking first place. Look at her and her Leon. Kako coming in second. Kenny, ECLA, Matt. Neo Sourceman, Dark Luster. Gavs, Promise, Lemres. Man, we did lose a lot of points, I guess. This put us way behind. How far behind from... We are, what? 68 to 58. 13 points behind Neo Sourceman. 23 points behind Matt. And like... 38 points behind ECLA. So yeah, that's pretty much the points, the 39 points we lost on defense. We got Ducks, Ren, Michael, Alan, Diego, Alphonse, Silver, Oron. So how does a bottom bow leaf work? I'm not really sure. Is this for like a setup for uh, what's, uh, what's a game mode called? Uh, format, whatever it's called, that where you fight that bo one boss battle. Uh. Ghosting, Logan, Yakiomi, Bray Blitz, Brandy, Bean. Alright, let's take a look because. Rooker Siege. Is it set up for Rooker Siege? Is that the whole. Um, is that what the leaf is set up for? Because it's a pretty interesting build. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it for today. Um, there sh should be nothing to summon. Yep, nothing to summon. So the only thing that we like left to talk about is the update. So, a couple of things. Uh, first, I do like this uh, skill thing. Like, pretty much anytime you use like a website um, for Fey, like um, the Arena Calculator or the Unit Builder um, or the um, Combat Simulator, they all just 
skip all the lot level tiers and just give you the highest level tier of the skill and this is basically what that is uh, just so it makes it easier for you to search skills because sometimes it's just a pain to try to find a skill especially if you have a, like a lot of skills in one unit and i'll show you what i mean in a second uh, then we have the new ephemeras which we're getting Hellbindi and uh, Summer Noir um, as a 5 stars and then two Grail units with Felix and um, Kaden as well as three easily accessible units that are really easily accessible so um, I guess if you don't have any use for Noir uh, I would go for Kaden and Felix uh, but if you're merging her then of course you go for her and Hellbindi could be useful for his Red Duel Infantry 3 which we talked about Azel uh, that how he can pass 4 skills if you only pass Red Duel Infantry 3 from Hellbindi first Weapon Refines uh, Fallen Taco Meme um, Bonnie Sharena South, um, Carla, and of course Flora, which is the one I'm most interested on because um, her weapon gives her like plus 20 defense when she initiates combat, and it's the only weapon that gives you that much defense when you initiate combat. Plus, it lets you double if the unit is using a physical weapon. So, um, it would be interesting to see what they gave her. Maybe they can give her the her refine could be the same as Kid Shida's weapon that is effective against everything melee related. So that would be a cool refine, just give her like effective against lances, axe, daggers, bows, beast, and I guess dragons as well. I mean, she can take on dragons with mystic boost because her res is really, really high. So. I don't know if they will give her dragons, but that would, like, if I were to give her a fan, that's what I would give her, just effective against all melee weapons. Uh, it goes with um, her weapon being designed specifically to initiate on uh, those type of units and be able to survive. So maybe, like, if unit initiates combat against these type of weapons, um, unit has uh, gains... Weapon effectiveness. Weapon effectiveness only when she initiates. That way you don't see her running like a bandage close counter set. Like it will limit her power. But so making her balance. Otherwise you'll just see her running bandage. Um, bandage uh, close counter sets. Or close foil in her case. Since um, she wouldn't care about dragons. She'll just run Mystic Boost Seal and not counter them. Uh, for the taco meme, the dark taco meme, um, I guess he could go, like in his falling hero battle, he there's two of him, because like, I guess that's the thing that he splits into two. So if they included something like that, that would be kind of cool. Maybe like, um, give him a, the way you would implement that, I guess, it would be like, neuron seal, I guess, like, if he attacks, he can just initiate combat again. So it's kind of like there's two of him initiating combat. Or if he initiates combat and activates his weapon, he'll get teleported two spaces away from where he is. Like to make sure that um, kind of like there's another one of him. I don't know. Or maybe like a miracle. So... Like, if you kill one, you have to kill the other one. I don't know. Something really cool. Or, But most likely, they'll just go do something with his damage. Uh, the damage that he does. Maybe they'll increase it to 20. Like, uh, similar to Brave Hector. I mean, Halloween Hector. And uh, I guess he, they could do it like... Um, every odd turn, he does 20 damage. On a three columns center on himself. I don't know. Um, that's probably what they'll go with something based on his uh, free damage that he does and the panic that he inflicts. But 
I would like it to be something cool, like uh, something that reflects his there's been two of him in his Grand Hero battle. As for the rest, uh, Carla is probably going to get damage reduction in her weapon because um, because uh, Ira has damage reduction in her weapon. So Carla is most likely going to get damage reduction in her weapon. So, well, Peshkaz is Hildir's Kiof, um are the same weapon like Veronica's um, Veronica's uh, staff and Peshkat's had the same exact effect. So maybe they could just give him Veronica's refine. Like he gives plus three to combat. I do not think they will go with a broadly fan effect just because we already have Matthew for daggers and we already have um, Ursula for uh, tomes once I got it afterwards. And of course we have Ares and Silas. We have a lot of units with that effect, so they're probably not gonna go with a broadleaf fan effect, even though that's the weapon most people give him. Um maybe they'll go with like something like um Male Morgan that he buffs himself and then he inflicts um because Mel Morgan used to be like he had to attack in order to get the buffs, so maybe that and but now he can inflict the debuffs like similar to a menace skill in his weapon and he gets the buffs, so maybe they'll go that route. Um but because so um increases all stats, uh maybe his effect will be weaker. Maybe like something like Mercurius that is just the plus four to all stats. Um I don't know. But probably, maybe they'll make it a little more supportive since he's a dagger unit. So that's what I would say. Like, they could go with like the Veronica effect that he just gives plus three to attack and speed to his nearest allies within three spaces or something like that. And inflict attack speed minus three on foes within three spaces during combat. Something like that's probably what they go with. Um, Bright Shine is getting upgraded to level 8. Um, and that's the only building that's getting upgraded right now. I hope they just leave Ball Tower alone. Please do not increase Ball Tower to match Healing Tower. It's already at 45, and it's just, that is a lot of free damage. That's They should just leave it alone. They haven't upgraded traps, so... Meal Strike is getting upgraded with a structure. Uh, we are getting in it, so I am getting ready to plus 10 him. I have enough grails to get him all. I just don't have enough feathers to get him to plus 10 right away. They're moving all of the uh, videos to YouTube, I guess, to lower the effect on the app, make the app smaller. Mm. And they're going to adjust the AI. So this, we don't actually know how it will actually affect until, you know, it actually goes into effect. So this is probably the biggest change for Ether Race um, upgrading the AI. So sometimes like the AI, like if they were to move, attack you from underneath and hit you, like say you have a Veronica and you're on a defense style, instead of attacking from above, she can move through space. If she move below and attack, she'll be in a better advantageous position to get dance and then just hit your back lines. So I hope it's not something that drastic because then um, it will have to we have to rethink AI and relearn AI manipulation and all that other stuff, which is very important in AR um, AI manipulation. But something like that could happen, like a unit moves into an advantageous position to get dance to hit your back line or. Um, move away from allies if they have a solo skill to activate the solo skill or move next to an ally to activate a bond skill um move away uh, away from um tactics room as soon as they can instead of just keep walking into it so we don't actually know like what kind of adjustment the AI is going to get until it actually hits and we test it out but be careful with that because it might catch you by surprise. Um, other than that, we really don't have nothing more to say. 
So yeah, I only have 109,000 feathers, which means I can get five in it. With the plus one I already have, that's plus six in it. So I need more feathers to get him to plus 10 right away. Grails, not a problem since I really have not been using him so much. And what I mean about what I mean about the skills, like making it really useful for them just to display the top skills, is because if you have something like this and you wanna change their skills, you just gotta scroll infinitely trying to find the right skill for them. And even we guide off. There are a lot of skills, like Fionn pretty much has every skill available at 4 star or below and a lot of 5 star unique uh, only skills as well, so finding the right skill for her to use at a moment, it takes a while to change her kit. So having only the highest level tier would definitely make it easier to go through all of this. just to find the skills you want to give your unit. So yeah, it takes a while, so... Hopefully, it makes it, once that comes in, it makes it a little easier. But other than that, that's all I got. So, um, thank you all for watching, I'll see you all next time. Bye!